Hi there, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how to fix this blue screen of death where it displays uh, the tcpip.sys file caused the issue. Hope you find this guide useful. If you do, please help me out by subscribing to my channel. Okay, so this blue screen of death will affect uh, all operating systems, uh, Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10. Uh, I'm going to show you how to fix it on Windows 10, but the same method will work on other operating systems as well. So this file is used by a network adapter. So it's going to be either an issue with the device driver or the file itself has become corrupted. So what we need to do is if we check the device driver first, so click on start, type in device manager. The device manager application will show here. So just left click on there. Once the device manager application is loaded, expand the network adapters. The first thing you should do is update driver. So if you click on update driver, uh, you can try it automatic. So what that will do is it will go to the internet. It will see if there's any uh, newer drivers. It will download it if there is one and automatically install it. So do that, reboot your, your system. If it doesn't find any updated drivers, uh, just click on Browse My Computer. Uh, but what you'll have to do is you'll have to go to the internet, uh, go to the Intel website or whatever um, model your adapter is, search for a newer driver, download it on your machine, and then just browse to the folder where you downloaded, click on OK, and then Next, and, and follow the prompts. Uh, as soon as that has finished, reboot your machine. Hopefully the issue will go away. If it doesn't, come back to here in Device Manager, right click, uninstall device, and follow the prompts to uninstall the device from your machine. If you then restart your machine, when you log back in, Windows is automatically gonna reinstall that driver again, so it installs a clean driver for you. If you're still getting crashes after that, um, go to File Explorer, uh, click on this PC on the left hand side and where your C drive is, just right click on there, go to Properties, go to the Tools tab and click on the Error Checking tab there, uh, click on Scan Drive. If I've gone a bit quick for you, um, I'm going to leave a link to an article that uh, has got screenshots and it's got step by step steps for you that you can follow. So you can check that out. Uh, this error is checking our system for any corrupt files. Uh, if it does find some, it will tell you here. It says uh, something like found corrupt files and fix them. Uh, sometimes you might get prompted to restart your machine because it's got a lock on the file. So it needs to restart the machine and do it uh, at boot up. Uh, but once that is finished, again, restart your machine and hopefully the error will go away. Okay, thanks for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one.